Owning a single car for life sounds appealing in theory. I like to call it the forever car, but in practice, it's unlikely you'll find one vehicle that's so comfortable, reliable, and enjoyable to drive that you'd never want to upgrade. Especially today, with rapid advancements in in-car tech and less dependable reliability. That said, the Lexus IS 500F Sport Performance comes pretty close to being a forever car. It strikes a great balance between luxury and performance, powered by a robust, naturally aspirated V8. I can easily imagine owning this car for a long time and being quite satisfied. However, it's not without its flaws. The heart of the IS 500 is its V8 engine, which sets it apart. While Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz have moved towards six and even four-cylinder engines in this segment, the IS 500 is the only compact luxury performance car to feature a naturally aspirated V8. And it sounds glorious. With 472 horsepower and 395 pound-feet of torque driving the rear wheels, the IS 500 accelerates from zero to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds and can reach a top speed of about 165 miles per hour. It may not be the most powerful or fastest car in its class, but Lexus's 5.0-liter V8 has more character than BMW's inline-six and Mercedes-Benz four-cylinder hybrid combined. This engine is essentially an evolution of the one from the original ISF, as well as the GSF and RCF, modernized for today. It roars to life on startup, with power that builds smoothly across the rev range. The IS 500's acceleration isn't overly aggressive. Peak horsepower comes at 7,100 RPM and maximum torque at 4,800 RPM. But the power delivery is linear and enjoyable all the way to its 7,300 RPM redline, where this engine truly shines. At 2,800 RPM, an intake bypass opens, unleashing the full, natural soundtrack of that V8. No artificial sound enhancements here. The IS emits a muscle car-like roar from its quad exhaust tips, something you won't experience with any of its direct competitors. Here's my first issue with the IS 500. Its suspension isn't significantly different from the IS 350F Sport. While the IS 500 does get a rear damper upgrade courtesy of Yamaha, that's about it. The Torsen Limited Slip Differential, Adaptive Front Dampers, and Staggered Bridgestone Potenza 001 tires are all carried over from the IS 350F Sport. Now, don't get me wrong, the suspension setup is fantastic for everyday cruising. The IS 500 handles bumps well, with just a touch of harshness coming through the 19-inch wheels, and the ride is smooth and comfortable. It's actually more comfortable than comparable Audis and BMWs. But when it comes to cornering and spirited driving, the IS 500 falls short of its rivals. Even with the adaptive damper set to their stiffest mode, the IS 500 doesn't have the sharpness or precision you'd expect from a car with an AMG or M badge. It feels a bit too soft, the steering, while heavy and communicative, isn't as quick as it should be, and the 8-speed automatic transmission lags a bit, taking too long to shift gears. For a car wearing an F badge, even if it's not a full-fledged F model, it needs a little more performance edge. Where the IS 500 doesn't need more is in its cabin, although perhaps it could use a little less. The interior is draped in stunning red leather that covers the seats, center console, door panels, and parts of the dashboard. High-quality aluminum accents and matte black plastic adorn the center console, with plenty of buttons and dials for controls. However, here's my second major gripe, the outdated touchpad. While most other Lexus models have transitioned to Toyota's improved audio multimedia system with a larger touchscreen, the IS still uses the old touchpad controller paired with a smallish 10.3-inch screen and the outdated Lexus Inform infotainment system. It's far from ideal. Yes, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available, but they still require wired connections. There's also no USB-C port for the infotainment system. The touchpad remains clunky and hard to use, and even if you prefer using the screen, it's positioned so far away that it's nearly impossible to operate while driving. At least the IS 500 is comfortable as hell. The cabin is whisper quiet, and the upgraded front buckets have excellent butt and back support, with still just enough side bolstering for aggressive driving. Lexus makes some of the best chairs in the business, and these are no exception. 
sitting in the second row is less comfy. The IS500 has the worst legroom of the group and below average headroom at 32.2 and 36.9 inches respectively. But the 44.8 inches of legroom up front are best in class and the 38.2 inches of headroom are above average. If anything, bigger drivers will have issues with the front hip room. The cockpit-like seating position can feel a little cramped if you have wide hips. Starting at $60,545 with destination including, the 2024 Lexus IS 500F Sport Performance isn't cheap. But then again, neither are its competitors. The BMW M340i costs $60,775 and the Mercedes-AMG is $63,650. Moving up to the BMW M3, $77,175 and Mercedes AG C63 SE Performance, $88,050 would be even pricier. This premium model I drove, with navigation, a 17-speaker audio system, and triple-beam LED headlights, comes in at $64,545. There are a few paint add-on extras, but most everything comes standard. Beyond a few issues with technology and suspension tuning, the IS500 is a really fantastic sports sedan. Its calling card is that naturally aspirated V8, something you won't find in many modern cars while it still maintains the level of comfort and luxury you expect of a modern Lexus. If Lexus went even harder on the suspension tuning and ditched the outdated infotainment system, the IS500 might be sitting in my garage right now. That is, if I had $60,000 to blow. The 2024 Lexus IS 500F Sport Performance is a thrilling addition to the compact luxury sports sedan segment, offering a unique blend of old-school V8 power and modern luxury. This model brings back the naturally aspirated V8 engine, a rare find in today's era of turbocharged and hybrid powertrains, and it's what truly sets the IS500 apart. Engine and performance. At the heart of the 2024 IS500 F Sport is a 5.0 liter V8 engine that delivers a commanding 472 horsepower and 395 lbft of torque. Power is sent to the rear wheels through an eight-speed automatic transmission. This setup propels the IS500 from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds, with a top speed of around 165 miles per hour. While it may not be the most powerful car in its class, the naturally aspirated V8 offers a unique, exhilarating driving experience with linear power delivery and an unmistakable roar. It's a nostalgic nod to performance sedans of the past, providing visceral excitement with every press of the throttle. The engine sound is particularly noteworthy, with a deep, muscular tone from the quad exhaust that distinguishes it from its competitors. In a market dominated by downsized, turbocharged engines, the Lexus IS 500's V8 feels like a breath of fresh air, offering more character than many of its rivals from BMW and Mercedes-Benz. Driving Dynamics While the engine is the star of the show, the driving dynamics of the 2024 Lexus IS 500 F Sport are equally impressive for daily driving. The suspension, though similar to the IS 350 F Sport, features a Yamaha sourced rear damper and adaptive dampers up front. This setup provides excellent comfort for everyday cruising, soaking up road imperfections with ease. 